Hey guys, it's your boy Yahya here. I hope you're staying safe and productive. Today, we will learn how to visualize large scale projects inside Unreal Engine. This is a project we did last year. It's in Berlin. It was one of the biggest projects we ever did. It consists of like 134 apartments, 12 commercial areas. And in this tutorial series, I'm hoping that you will learn everything you need to know in visualizing big ass projects inside Unreal Engine. So if you're new to Unreal Engine and you want to learn how to get the engine and data math, go to our channel and look for this tutorial that I'm going to link in the description and watch it. Holy shit, that's 50k views. Thank you guys. All right, let's get started then. I'm going to talk real quick about our project here. Uh, basically, you should be familiar with CAD plans. When you get your CAD plans from your customer, what you need to do is cleaning these plans as much as possible where you eliminate everything that you don't want to see and you can even tell the performance on my machine between this CAD plan and this guy do yourself a favor clean every CAD plan you need for your project import all of them then inside 3ds Max we will cover 3D modeling in our master class much in much more depth if you want to master unreal engine in visualizing unbuilt architecture and you want to see these tutorials getting uploaded much faster we count on you in getting our master class in visualizing architecture go to gumroad.com slash ya boy yahya jasim here get this master class it's an early access you will learn everything you need in visualizing interior projects and exterior projects and you will get the project files as you can see now here we have a building that we 3d modeled from the CAD plans it's organized into layers this is our old system in layers where we used to put all similar elements inside one layer and then isolate them based on interior exterior interior exterior and then the floor plans Fun fact, I learned German from reading these plans. So, <laughs> one OG means floor number one, floor number two, and so on. So, let me first talk about the walls. They're like the biggest surfaces in this project, and we divided them in two elements. The interior walls, where we have big chunks like this, and the exterior walls, where they are usually smaller. We also do have the facade stones that also cover these walls like so and these facade stones have no back faces to save on the light map uvs these walls for example if we isolate this guy we give it a resolution of like 256 128 the light map resolution and things should be fine because we need to up the resolution only on the facade stones let's call them we give these usually 1k or 512 when you divide your project like so especially in layers it becomes so much easier to select your elements give them whatever resolution you want and so on okay the biggest mistake i see everyone is making in their project especially good old yahya me is usually my projects are clusterfuck when I first started. So you don't want to do that. You want to be as organized as possible. This could still be better in terms of organization. Fun fact about this project, it went through like so much revisions. I'm gonna show you the source files. It started in July 2019, yeah. And it ended where? Like during the pandemic and it didn't end. The customer ended up canceling the project because it's, it was meant for virtual reality and there were no one to try it in virtual reality anymore. And then we started YouTube channel and here we are guys. I suppose you have Unreal Engine and installed your machine and data math. Before we export anything, let's go to Unreal Engine, the Epic Games launcher. You should have it on your machine. I'm using for the purpose of this tutorial 425 but feel free to use 426 you can use whatever you want go to create project or launch the engine and unreal project browser will launch select AEC template architecture engineering construction click next select a blank template click next 
set a location and give your project a name so let's call it berlin project because guess what guys we will be making berlin today click create project wait for few minutes get some coffee get some water stay hydrated welcome to unreal engine inside unreal engine right click in our content browser let's make new folder call it projects inside this new folder let's make a new folder call it dt data math imports and let's make another folder call it maps and let's make a new level and call it main building or let's just call it building okay because we will have multiple maps later for performance like to make it easier to optimize this project all right let's open this map it's completely empty and yeah now what do you do to an empty map you fill it with stuff so let's go back to 3ds max and click file export and export your scene however before i export usually i like just to check what's up in my scene and generally i like to export my project on multiple times this will make it so much easier later when you want to do some revisions on your project to just replace some stuff and we will get there so now i'm gonna just click alt e my custom shortcut usually i have a folder called dt temp inside this folder usually i just delete it every now and then let's make a new project call it berlin and let's call this guy or this file pavements set data math this should appear once you install data math on your computer and this folder or this name of the pavements or whatever will appear as a folder inside unreal engine so name your exports properly let's ignore this for now and let's unhide this so this is our building and when it comes to buildings like this let's say you export all of this at once and your customer later wants to edit all the railings should we export everything again no this is why i like to turn off all layers for example and then export these layers one by one we're not gonna do that for the sake of the tutorial now this is the ground floor layer it has inside it the lobbies some stairs and stuff so let's just press alt e and call this lobbies let's hide this layer and unhide the next layer this one is the 7 og the seventh floor roof and let's just call export 7 og roof there are so many ways you can export your projects but i found that doing so like this also helps me later in selecting my assets inside unreal engine inside unreal engine we, when we type in the search bar here sm underscore f we will have everything that has to do with the facade okay and i'm gonna import the lobbies now let's select the folder data at math click ok it will ask us what to import let's tell it we only want the geometry and the min and max light map resolution let's set it to 64 so it can be much faster to bake the lights now i'm gonna switch to unlit mode by pressing alt 3 on the keyboard this will help us see whatever we have without lights and here you can see we have the lobbies some stuff and the stairs let's say we want to update this file with this for whatever reason we can just click it again save it override it click ok once it finishes we can go back to unreal engine and right click the file and click re-import now we have the ceilings here as you can see our uv mapping is kind of bad it seems because we edited the geometry and did not apply a proper uv mapping to our project this means that your textures will uh, will look like shit this is funny because in the master class i was talking to the students where she is having the same problem this is her export from cinema 4d and this is how the textures look like they're not correct like so like this the reason is because these meshes does not have uv box mapping applied to them 
in our case, this type of meshes, like the architectural meshes like so, we select all of them and then we do apply UVW map box and then length, width and height are one meter by one meter by one meter. Okay. Um, let's click export again and select the lobbies. Click OK, click OK and go back to Unreal, right click our data smith scene file, click re-import, click re-import and we should be good now, okay? It might take you an extra 20-30 minutes exporting your files like this, but imagine if we had this error with the complete building like before, you're trying to exporting all of this all over again with every single error you find, right? It's gonna be painful. So just take some time setting up your project at the very beginning, probably, especially the data smith files, and you should be good. Now let's hide these layers and let's go to import even more layers. I'm gonna unhide everything and I will hide some layers that we already exported, which is some of them is the lobby on the ground floor. So we have the facade, we have the pavements and we have the roof. Select all of them, click import, should be good now, except for the facade, it was custom UVs for this that we can fix later, no worries. Click Ctrl Shift S to save everything and now let's go back to 3ds Max, we need to hide the roof, we need to hide the facade and the mall ceiling. Let's hide the windows, we will export the windows and the railings separately. And these are the architectural elements of the project. For now, I guess it would be fine if we export all of this just once. So let's make uh, another export and call this guy building, walls, floors. So let's call it just building. Click save. Click OK. Now, for example, we know every time we do want to change anything in the railings or the windows, we just enable these two layers and export them. So we will call this windows and railings. Click OK, click OK. Until it exports, we can go back to Android Engine, select our building here, click OK, click import. Yeah, we have our building and let's click data smith again and select our windows and railings and you can see how large it is so this means this one will take a few extra seconds or minutes to import well it took just five seconds it seems that i have an error where i don't have my windows on the railings the the glass i mean but that's fine because we can go back here add the glass later in 3ds max on these railings and export this layer again, right? Imagine again if we made this mistake and then we need to re-import the whole building, especially at later stages. Like I suspect that even later, what we're going to do is to separate these even into more data smith actors. However, having six actors now, like data smith scenes is better than one. Let's click Ctrl Shift S. Now let's make a new folder here. Call it meshes or the building or the project or whatever you like. Let's call it main project because we will separate now the main project from the environment. Select these actors, drag them here and let's make a new folder and call it meshes because we will have a new folder here. We will call it environment or Berlin or whatever. So let's just hide it for now. 